We love to tell you stories of how God is working in the lives of those in this region. Today's Orthopedic Institute of Ohio Faith on the Field segment takes us to Convoy, where Andy Lynch introduces us to Crestview's Cam Etzler, who comes from a talented family athletically, but we see that the spiritual base goes even deeper in making the Crestview senior who he is today. best feeling I've ever had in my life over any academic awards, athletic awards, is just you know that you've given your life fully to Christ and that's that's the main purpose in life. Cam Etzler's talking about when he got baptized a year and a half ago. Probably the best decision I've ever made. I, it was after a conversation I had with uh, my Uncle Ray who the gym's named after uh, and he had talked about prayer life being number one and it was in a time where uh, my life was kind of uh, shattered into some pieces just um, athletically, academically, and just relationships with friends, families, and coaches. Um, but uh, after I talked to my pastor and my youth pastor, it, it was a decision that I uh, decided to make because I had never been baptized as a child. Longtime coach Ray Etzler has been a spiritual giant for his family. A very big part. Obviously, he instilled that on uh, my uncles and uh, my cousins, and obviously my dad. Um, but it's it's more it's more than just a athletic thing it's more spiritually I just had a talk with him a couple weeks ago and it was it was basically the exact it was mirrored of the same uh, conversation that we had about a year and a half ago so um, athletically obviously he's he's a big part of my life but also a very big part spiritually and Cam has also had other role models to look up to, like current assistant coach Tony Springer. We had been families, family friends with them uh, for I don't know how long. Our families have been friends since birth. And I just grew up with him, and I always saw him as a role model because uh, he, I'd hang out with him in the summer and during basketball seasons. So uh, he was always the guy I kind of looked up to. Etzler will continue his basketball career at Division III Anderson of the Heartland Conference. My main reason was basketball, but uh, when I visited campus, uh, the it's a great spiritual place. They have chapel on campus. They have churches around the area, and uh, the coaching staff, just the atmosphere there was uh, very, very appealing and just somewhere I'd like to be. And the student that was responsible for starting a Fellowship of Christian Athletes huddle at Crestview looks to share the love of Christ through his game. It's given me the opportunity to meet a lot more people and obviously reach a lot more people because I've had the opportunity to be around people who may not have that spiritual side that just know me based on athletics. And I have met some people that were kind of surprised about it because they just saw me as an athlete and kind of the stereotypical athlete uh, uh, stigma that's attached to it, but um, it's it's really helped me relate to younger kids too because they see me as an athlete and as a role model, which uh, gives me the opportunity to reach out to them more.